Hello Aquarius, this is Ascension Empress. Look at y'all. Huh. <laughs> this is Ascension Empress with your bonus February preview, um, Mercury Direct, however it resonates. All right, thank you all so much for the love, the support, and welcome to my new subscribers. Welcome to the channel, okay? Look at that. What's this? Mm. Okay, so take what resonates with you, leave the rest. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Cross Watchers. The roles can be reversed, okay? You got a lot of energy, and it definitely has to do with connection, union, marriage as well. Whew. <laughs> this is a lot of Aquarius, all right? So let's see. What do you want Aquarius to know about the energy going into the past? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. You can't make this up, y'all. Oh. The energy going into the past is somebody went back to try to start something with somebody from the past. That's what's going into the past, okay? Six, these sixes, y'all. Okay, six of pentacles, page of cups. Yeah, wow. Okay. Aquarius. <laughs> I get that. There is someone who's wanting to come in and express something. There's going to be a message, an apology, uh, some communication around give and take, or this is someone's intention. Someone is hoping to give and take in the near future, but there's some changes. Like this tower with this four of pentacles, I feel like you or someone else is, I heard, taking the high road. I got that in another reading too, okay? Okay. Um, but it's moving forward successfully. Someone is focused, right? And that's part of what this tower is, is change that's causing, it's call, it's causing a block, okay? I was going to, I said calling, I was, I wanted to say causing a block, causing someone not to move forward. Like it may be an apology accepted, but someone is choosing not to move forward in a partnership because you have the four wands, justice, and then the emperor. So what happened <laughs> usually it's the other way around and there's this union then there's this marriage someone is choosing to go at it themselves okay or you or someone could be an entrepreneur here setting boundaries four pinnacles and the emperor okay because this is not holding oh so this is holding back you may you or someone doesn't want someone to hold back that's why they're coming in with this page of cups here but someone decided to focus on what's for them. I heard being successful. When that, whatever this was, whatever this decision was in the past, right? Mm. This is very straightforward, y'all. Hey, you got the Six of Swords again. Like, I feel that someone is just like, no hard feelings, right? But this is clearly my sign. If you feel like you need to go back to the past or, you know, you there's some type of friendship or there's some something else, somebody else and something else. I get that this is divine feminine. This is the empress. This, this is the emperor. This is a woman here who is stepping into her masculine energy, setting boundaries, taking ownership and yes, yeah, stepping into her power. I also heard a false start. Someone was always forgiving or trying to work on something. And and, and I, oh, it always felt like it was still at the beginning is what I'm getting with the page. Oh, I was going to say page of Pentacles. Yep. So there was this energy around breadcrumbing. Now going forward, somebody wants to come and give and I, I heard give and receive time. What do you want Aquarius to be aware of when it comes to the Six of Pentacles and the Page of Cups? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what would you like Aquarius to be aware of? Be aware that this person coming in is coming in because they see that you have this unexpected wealth that may come with this recognition and this success, right? Or your forward movement. You may even be moving. And... Wow, yeah, they could be coming in wanting to attach themselves. And not even attach it even in the word, but that's what it is at the same time, okay? This person could be in their 30s, something around the 
uh, the last 11 years because when I pick up on karmic cycles I usually get seven but it's something about 11 years okay oh yeah you got 31 11 36 here bad health sudden wealth and distant horizons somebody maybe even want to go at a distance because they know it'll get them out of this bad health. I feel like it's this financial it's a financial status with this bad health card and here you are I heard even uh, reconciling your debts or something here this is beyond financial your doors are opening there's new opportunities right with the healing and the forgiveness that you've been giving yourself right yeah y'all been giving yourself closure you were somebody else right and it's bringing in this unexpected income and I feel like this foundation or something around the home family a connection you're happy Everything is balanced here. You're moving forward. You're taking charge. And someone wants to come in. Someone who also may be going through something. I heard. Oh, yeah. Ooh, we. It's a lot. Not only is this you or someone who may be holding back and has changed after whatever had happened in the past. But this is also someone who is trying to come in and apologize because they don't have much they don't have much financially i heard possession wise what do you want aquarius to know about this four pinnacles in the tower see yeah Ooh, y'all be careful now right Ooh. as soon as i said be careful this is what you or someone is gonna have to do you're gonna have to release and i i'm here and even pray for this person again this is this energy around no hard feelings it's like someone is up in their head, can't sleep. Or, oh, this is a, a feminine energy who may come off like this. May be seen as very successful, but there's still, okay, there's still something that I heard she may be fearful about. I heard steering. So this forward movement it's this tower there's this discomfort yeah or there's a um a sudden unexpected change all right oh this is interesting y'all someone is just gonna have to walk away and the fact that i had to say just because i feel like that still doesn't do whatever this tower is justice this is not easy for somebody whoever is having to walk away from something and you you feel like you may not see what's to come like it, it just looks horrible yeah and my condolences oh i'm sorry y'all because i feel like somebody there may be a fire as well or someone may be fired this is happening so that you can move forward or you decided to be single <laughs> oh wow i just i just heard a woman this is uh this energy that just said i fired him someone <laughs> You fired this masculine energy or this whoever it is. Okay. Let's see. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Mm-hmm. It's that codependent energy. You got the devil card, the Queen of Cups. Okay. The Two of Wands, the Fool, and the Will of Fortune. When I tell you somebody wants to start over, they see you as the Queen of Cups, loving, very very nurturing very empathic i heard gifted okay some of y'all are very spiritual pisces cancer scorpio or you just know how to i heard uh respectfully use your water energy so you don't manipulate is what i'm getting here with the queen of cups you were someone else or there's this manipulative energy that is attached i heard to this masculine that's part of their karma and there's a feminine energy who's being guided to just walk away, just move on. You don't want this baggage. You've been here, done that. You forgave in the past. It's time to forgive yourself for maybe giving it another chance, right? Bring balance. Give yourself justice. Set those boundaries. Stand in your power. Success is the best revenge is what I'm picking up here. What do we need to know about this devil card? Because now it's speaking. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Yeah, this is some. This is it. This is them. 
whoever's trying to come back in and apologize or express interest, I heard all of a sudden, right? It's because they want to bring balance to the situation. And they may even feel like they're being guided to. Also, be mindful of someone trying to come in and appeal to your spiritual side by saying, like, they're, uh, for example, this person could know that you have a certain type of lingo or what it is that you do. So they're, they're going to come in acting like they're working on themselves. They're uh, maybe even meditating. They're doing this and they're doing that. They're taking ownership. Okay, but they're being manipulative because they're in fear of you walking away. You or somebody else is in fear of this feminine energy truly letting this go. I heard emotionally done because once once you're emotionally done and I feel like someone is already in the midst of forgiving themselves. They forgave someone or gave someone another chance. Right. Yeah. With this. Oh, we with this Ace of Pentacles. That's another chance is what I'm getting and now someone's truly pouring into themselves. They're realizing this is this would be self-sabotage to go into circles. Also, <sighs> with the page of cups and the nine of wands, y'all, they don't want you to give up. They're gonna try at the very last minute, is what I'm getting here. They're hoping that. You'll take the... I can't. I, I'm sorry. I just came with this energy because it feels like you've heard it before. You or somebody else has heard it before or you've been there. And now that your path is changing, right? Or whoever this feminine is. Now that somebody's path is changing, they're hoping they can come in and... I keep getting to attach themselves to you so that their path will change for the good too. Because there's something around the karma and... In the position that they're in right now, even financially, with the Tower and the Four of Pentacles, this person may be trying to come in and li and live with you here with the Four of Wands. Okay, yeah, you got the Ten of Swords. There's something someone is not saying, and this is also somebody you haven't talked to in a long time. All right, what advice do you have for Aquarius, Holy Spirit, Holy Angels? What advice do you have? Thank you. Stay focused, y'all. Right? Don't let up. So whatever energy, whatever you've been investing your time, your energy, and your money into, right? Because somebody pulled back, success is the, it's the best revenge. So this could even be you saving for a, a rainy day or there's some something about an um, emergency fund or saving more. Saving your energy going forward because, oh, someone's going to have to, bake, uh, okay, break a contract. Or bake. You may you may need to uh relieve your stress is what I'm getting here. Pisces energy, something around the new moon and Pisces, Pisces season. All right. So mid to late February. Holy Spirit, holy angels. What's the overall message for Aquarius? Ooh, interesting. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that. It is time for y'all to step into your passion. Right? I'm getting, take care of yourself, your body, your energy, like everything. This is king energy for me. Well, of course it's the king of wands, but I'm picking up a step up, level up. Someone's leveling up here and it's coming with a transformation. It's coming with someone becoming aware of who they are, what they can do. I mean, what's to come. You don't, for I'm getting that somebody doesn't know exactly what's to come, but it's this confidence here. Right? There's this healthy confidence that someone has about a new path or maybe even, I heard, yeah, the, the, lo, the road less traveled. And I was about to say the load, okay? So it's something about the load that you may carry when you take the, the road less traveled. But Aquarius, you are that unique, unconventional sign, right? And here we are. Yeah, about to be in y'all season with Mercury going direct in Capricorn, about to be in Aquarius. Saturn has been doing this thing for the last two to three years. And I'm getting that God is, is passing you this wand, right? Yes, y'all are air sign, but it's time for y'all to step into that cardinal energy specifically is what I'm picking up here. Okay, and I'm also getting fire energy, but the fact that I said cardinal 
spirit is really speaking to Aries energy. So, you know, taking action, Mars, Mars and Gemini, how is that playing out in your chart and going forward? Okay, what were the lessons? Wow. Okay, as soon as I said Mars and Gemini, I get a notification. Okay, there's another reader who just posted <laughs> a reading, a Gemini reading. You can't make this up, y'all. Right? So, new opportunities. New energy, new ways of looking at yourself, caring yourself, and taking care of you. I'm hearing in your self-esteem, okay? I heard you can be the, the king of wands that everybody hates or the king of wands that everybody loves. Take it how it resonates. Or that's, oh, so you could be telling that uh, this person that or that person. I don't know. This and that person. I don't know. Thank it. Ooh, we... <laughs> Yes, the six of wands again. I heard success and healing or a successful healing is the best revenge. Two of air, nine of fire, and the six of fire. You can't make this up. Look at this. So by the full moon, oh, y'all, oh, so we're going to be doing some bonuses for y'all Aquarius <laughs> and look into, you know, other general energies because I'm, I'm sure there is so much more to come for y'all. With this full moon and Leo coming up in the next few weeks, this, this new moon in your sign, and there, I feel there's a lot of emotional healing. I feel like I'm speaking to, that's what I keep saying, feel, right? The moon, those who have their moon in Aquarius. We gonna be doing some bonuses, y'all. One more overall. I heard you're coming to an agreement with yourself. Or this masculine is about to come to agreement. I heard the best way to get this woman or to save someone or to save something is to heal yourself. Wow. So something again, this this masculine is trying to come in fast because they don't want to see this woman walk away, but spirit is saying, "No. Take the time. Just like in that blackout I just did. Take time to breathe out. Surrender the pride." Wow. I am picking up on Leo energy too with that King of Wands that came out. Look at that. Knight of Cups. <laughs> I'm telling you, this person knows that other people are trying to. Oh, I heard about Valentine's. Something around Valentine's Day. Oop. Mm. Okay. Take that how it resonates. There is a change. There is a rebirth. Somebody is trying to transform this here. I heard this. Okay. Mm. <laughs> Someone is trying to transform a feminine's life. They want to transform with the feminine. And it's more than one masculine. Okay? It's someone from the past who went to somebody from their past and is trying to come back. It's somebody in the future. It's somebody who's already been around is what I'm picking up. And look at this. Look. I feel this is guidance for the feminine. Don't let your past hold you back. And the masculine. Because that's what happened. They let their past... Or whatever past connection, friend, take it how it resonates. They let that hold them back from this connection. Now this person is moving forward. It's time to release negativity. Didn't I say somebody was like, no hard feelings? Because there wouldn't be success in this guidance and this peace going forward, right? And this transformation if they weren't releasing the negativity. What do you need to release? <laughs> Holy... I'm here and that's one of it. Someone needs to release indecision and use their intuition in all aspects of life. I accept that everything happens in divine order. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. What did I just say? That blackout reading, if you haven't checked it out already, someone with a lot of pride is being guided to surrender here. And accept. I accept that everything happens in divine order. Acceptance. I'm learning to accept the things I cannot change. Okay? And sometimes when we don't accept the things that we can't change, we get stuck in this indecision. 
We don't make decisions about moving forward. We just get stuck in our head. Then I, yeah, I said that at the at the end of that title. It's time to get unstuck. So you are someone else, Aquarius. It's time to get unstuck. Eight of Swords again. That was a significant card in that reading, right? So that's your reading, you all. Thank you for the love, the continuous support. And I will be tapping in again with y'all soon for this new moon, all right? Please take care of yourselves. I love you all. Bye.